Hey, you guys, listen, the Holy Spirit done arrested me. I'm in here <clears throat> putting up groceries and everything, and the Lord is just dropping, because we have a glass table in the front room, and, you know, it's a normal coffee glass table. And the Lord showed me in the Spirit someone, like, being thrown against the table and being abused, like, Lord. And he said, you know, I, I, I stopped what I'm doing with the groceries, and he's, he's saying for someone on here watching this, I don't know if you subscribed or you view. But the Lord is like, it is not his will for you to be beat and abused. And I pray for you. You've been dealing with this for a long time. You are bound. You are in fear. And I'm, I'm praying for whoever this is. The Lord, listen, the Lord don't want you to be abused physically. That is not his will. The Lord don't want you to be abused sexually. He don't want you to be abused financially. He don't want you to be abused in the area of church. He don't want you to be abused emotionally, mental abuse is abuse. And there are some scars, guys, that some people say, oh, time heals all things. That's not the truth. Jesus heals things. But if you are in a domestic violence relationship, I encourage you. Amen. I'm encouraging you. That is not God's will for your life. We've done some videos talking about that. But I felt this very strongly for somebody. That is not God's will for your life. Seek him. You know. And you got to use wisdom because you, you're not dealing with a person. You're dealing with a spirit. So I don't know who this is for, but I'm praying for you. I'm praying that God would give you wisdom. I'm praying he would deliver you from the spirit of fear. Um, I'm praying that, you know, he will show you where to go, like shelter or where to go. And you got to be careful who you share things with. You can't share everything with everybody. I had a friend one time years back I think I shared this because I know what that's like to deal with abuse guys in past relationships but I was one that would always fight back you know and that wasn't all my relationships but a, a rare few of them and I thank God for delivering me because I was one where I probably would have been in jail because I will pick up something and I will I will hit you I will I will go toe to toe with you and that produces anger and even that's not of God either so I thank God for delivering me from them relationships you understand what I'm saying but it's not God's will for you and I had a friend uh, she lived in the apartment complex that I did for a couple years I think they moved there like a year before I did I was there for like two years and she had her kids and I didn't even know her son's dad was beating on her you know she had family in another because she went from here she had family in another um I don't know why I'm feeling like to tell this with you guys she had family in another state and they were like telling her get away from him and you know for the first year, I I would see her around, but I didn't know her like that. It didn't get into where it got to where we kind of started talking. Like, I would see her at the pool because we had, like, a gym in the pool area where we lived at. I would see her, like, getting her kids from the bus stop where I'll be at, like, by the pool, and I'll see her. But I would just see her in passing. I didn't know her like that. And it wasn't until, um, like, I started going to, like, the, not a little league thing, but it was like a little league thing where like my nephews and nieces was going and her kids was going. So then I saw her one time and I said, I said um, to who I was with, I said, that girl, I said, I know her face. I don't forget a person's face. I said, I know her face. I say, um, she live in my complex. I said, I'd be seeing her. I said, but we never like really spoke. So I would just keep noticing she would be in the, like pushing the babies in the scroller. And I remember them days with pushing my baby in the scroller before I had a car and stuff. So... The Holy Spirit had asked me, I don't think it was that game, I think it was the next game. He was like, ask her, would she like a ride? So I was like, okay, you know, because we in the same complex. It's nothing for me to give her a ride. So I had gave her a ride, and that's kind of how we start talking. Like, I'll just give her a ride to the grocery store. I'd be like, you okay, you need anything, you know, and I'll just like bless her with things. Or like, sometimes she'll bless me with things too. You know, we became friends. And um, it didn't happen immediately, but she opened up and start telling me what she was dealing with and I was like wow you know because she was so beautiful and so bold and such a, a sweet smiling person you would have never thought unless the Lord revealed it to you you know and I was still learning like spiritually as well so I was like wow I, I could just feel like something was wrong but I didn't know what it was you know because it's like you know how when a person is so strong they shrunk exudes what they're dealing with in any way, long story short, um, she came up with a plan. The Lord directed her, and I took her to go um, get um, get a U-Haul, not a U-Haul, go get a car, like a rental, and she had already packed. She left. He was at work, I think, and I don't think she ever came back. And I believe when she went back home, her family was waiting for her to embrace her. The Lord blessed her with a job. Like, she was set. 
you know, because she was dealing with a lot of spiritual warfare. And I thank God she survived. And she had little baby kids. Like her, her, her kids was like, her young son was like the same as my young, my some as my son. This was some years back. My son is going to be six now, so this is some years back, you know. But, you know, and I know I've had friends, guys, that I've dealt with that, and I see what it do, you know. And the Lord is just telling you, not all of them, but some. And I'm telling you, it's it's not a good situation. You don't want to be in the casket, you know. You don't want to be dead prematurely. You don't want your kids looking up saying, "Where's mama? Where's daddy?" Because a lot of people say, oh, it's just women that get beat. No, there's a lot of um, bully, beastie type of females that beat on men as well. And they take advantage of the fact that this man is kind and sweet and he not going to put his hands on a woman. You know, so it's like a narcissist is not just a, a male. It's, a, it's, it's not just a, a female. It's males too. So I want to encourage you because listen, God is not going to abuse you. God is not, it, it's not his desire to harm or hurt you. If you're being abused physically, spiritually, financially, relationally, emotionally, that's not God's will. I'm praying for God to, you know, strengthen you and remove you from that situation before it's too late. Because I'm telling you, I'm putting, up, I'm putting away groceries. It's Sunday. You know, I'm, I'm going about my day. And the Lord showed me that with that table. And I'm looking like, why am I seeing somebody being thrown across the table? And I, I've seen it clear as day. It is even it's like you so of you so a, a, a afraid of if you do if you do good and they touch you that's how terrified you are 